Okay, so welcome back. And in this video, we're going to do an example of deciding and determining whether uh, a given number is in scientific notation or not. So again, remember, all we're looking for is, is the first piece a number between 1 and 10? And is the second piece a power of 10? Okay, and it's a multiplication, right? It's a product, right? So we're writing the, any number as a, as a product of two numbers. The first part is a number between 1 and 10. The second part is a power of 10. That's it. So if we take each one of these numbers and see if it fits that mold, that's really all we're doing. So the first one is, okay, so we have this number. Is the first uh, factor here a number between 1 and 10? The answer is yes. Is the second factor a power of 10? The answer is yes. Therefore, it is. Check. Here, is the first number here for this one, is this a number between 1 and 10? No. Then it's not in scientific notation. We're done. What about C? Is this a number that's between uh, 1 and 10? Now, here's the thing. We don't care if it's negative or positive, so in this case, you always think of the absolute value of the first factor, okay? So we don't care about the negative sign because we can have negative numbers and positive numbers. It's just the way it's written. So again, it, for the first factor, we could think of it as absolute value of the number. If the absolute value of the number is between 1 and 10, then we're fine. So this is actually okay, okay? Just the negative sign doesn't matter. So in absolute value, is this number between 1 and 10? The answer is yes. Is this a power of 10? No. So this is done. Not in scientific notation. D. Is this a number between 1 and 10? Yes, it is. Is this a power of 10? Yes, it is. Even though it's to the 0, and this is technically 1, it's still written as a power of 10. It's the way it's written that matters. So this is scientific notation. Here, is this a number between uh, 1 and 10? Nope. Then it's not in scientific notation. Okay. Is this a number between 1 and 10? Yes, it is. Is this a power of 10? Yes, it is. The negative exponent doesn't matter. Again, this just means you're dividing by a power of 10, right? or you have 1 over 10, but you're multiplying by a power of 10. This is written, again, it's the way it's written. Is this a power of 10? Yes, even though it's a negative exponent, it's still a power of 10. So this is written in scientific notation. And again, this one here, take the absolute value. Is the absolute value of this number between 1 and 10? Yes. Is this a power of 10? Yes. But this is division. It's not multiplication. Remember, it's the product of two factors that we're looking at. So this is not scientific notation. And that's it. Have a great day.